Right now at 10, a one-stop shop, how a new bill moving through the state capitol would help Wisconsin small businesses. And Matthew Stafford finally gets it done. The Rams are Super Bowl champions. We're going to have highlights from the nail-biter in L.A. Executing. Plus concerns Russia may invade Ukraine any day now, how the U.S. is responding to its aggression. That's all coming up at 10. A new proposal working its way through legislation's process right now could bring more small businesses to Wisconsin. Tahalil Mahodin spoke with a local representative about this project and shares how she's trying to make it to the state's main streets and our priority. The plan is still in its early stages, but it's already gotten the attention of small business owners across the state looking to a new website to make running their businesses a whole lot easier. These small business owners can't afford to keep waiting to have this get done. Small business advocates are asking Wisconsin state representatives to put local entrepreneurs first. The state government of Wisconsin over the last decade has focused more on larger businesses where they can afford an accountant, a lawyer, all these people to navigate the stuff for them. Looking for help navigating the different agencies involved in running a business. There are some real horror stories of small business owners having to go to 8, 9, 10, 15 different websites trying to make sure that they're abiding by the law. Representative Francesca Hong, a small business owner herself, says she understands where they're coming from. Small business owners have to wear a lot of hats. A lot of us are operating our own businesses. We have to be both the HR um, as well as, uh, you know, uh, the chef or the line cook or the dishwasher. Earlier this month, she helped introduce a bill that would centralize small business needs related to licenses, grants, and taxes by creating an online portal. The Department of Revenue, the Department of Financial Instructions, the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation, all of these different agencies work together for us. Hoping the one-stop shop will get the attention of Small Business Development Committee Chair, Representative Lauren Oldenburg. We're hoping that being the small business state that we are, we can find bipartisan common ground in order to help all of our small business owners right now. Advocates calling the proposal long overdue. We don't care who gets credit. It's more about what can we do to get done for uh, the main streets across our state. If the bill gets the support of the committee chair, it would then be brought to a public hearing before a committee vote. In order for it to pass this current legislative session, that would need to happen by April. Thanks so much to Halil. Okay, let's take a look outside. This is a live look at your capital tonight. It's going to be cool to start the work week off. Meteorologist Austin Kopninski joins us outside. He's got to look at your certified most accurate forecast. And it will be cool to start off our work week, but we're slowly going to see quite the rise in temperatures all the way through our Wednesday. It's going to be quite chilly here, especially tomorrow morning. We're going to see temperatures falling right back down to the middle single digits. Right now, we're at 11 degrees. Mostly cloudy skies have moved into the area, and we're also waiting for a few flurries and lighter snow showers here in the Dane County area. Some spots out west have already seen some of those flurries and lighter snow showers. Temperatures 11 here in Madison, 14 in Janesville, 8 degrees right now in Wisconsin Dells. Pretty consistent across the board. Viroqua right now down to about 6. Now the Doppler track, that's showing some of those lighter snow showers and flurries making their way through. Haven't seen any snowflakes quite reach the ground here, but there is an opportunity to see a dusting or so at times in the overnight hours tonight. Don't be too shocked if you do wake up to about a tenth of an inch of snow. A lot of us aren't going to end up seeing that, but a low of 5 degrees it's going to be a cold one. Then we'll see that warming trend. So how warm will the temperatures go and what's going on with that midweek mix that we're watching out for? I'll have all the updates and a look at your extended forecast coming up in just a bit. For the first time in more than 20 years, the Rams are Super Bowl champions and they won the big game tonight with a familiar face under center and making some big plays. Jordan Reed joins us now with the highlights from L.A. Well, after 12 seasons in Detroit and only one in L.A., Matthew Stafford finally gets to call himself a Super Bowl champ and earns this honor on his home turf. Rams wanting to protect their house tonight against the Bengals, and they strike first. Adele Beckham Jr. finds the end zone before going down and out with a knee injury. Well, out of halftime, the comeback player of the year takes over. Joe Burrow connects with T. Higgins downfield for a 75-yarder, and the Bengals will take the lead. But it's the Rams who power through in those final minutes on both offense and defense. On offense, Cooper Cup delivers the go-ahead tutty, and Aaron Donald makes the final play of the game. The Rams win 23-20, and Cup is named Super Bowl MVP. 
And two former Badgers are also Super Bowl champs, David Edwards and Rob Havenstein. Congratulations to the Rams and that epic close to their season. We have more NFL news coming up in sports. We're talking Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. All right, thanks so much, Jordan. Developing tonight, the White House is issuing a stark warning that Russia could invade Ukraine any day now. The U.S. says it's ready to respond. I also underscored that if Moscow chooses the path of aggression and further invades Ukraine, the response from the United States and our allies will be swift, it will be united, it will be severe. Meanwhile, tensions continue to rise in Ukraine as more than 100,000 Russian troops are placed near the country's border. John Lawrence reports. Six months. President Joe Biden spoke with his Ukrainian counterpart, Vladimir Zelensky, Sunday, promising to respond swiftly and decisively if Russia takes further action against Ukraine. An invasion could begin, a major military action could begin by Russia in Ukraine any day now. That includes this coming week before the end of the Olympics. The talk with Zelensky comes one day after Biden warned Russian President Vladimir Putin in a phone call with swift and severe costs if Ukraine is invaded. And we are prepared with a package of potential economic consequences that will hit many of those oligarchs and make clear to Russia that there are real costs to pay for this. Although preparations are underway, including the U.S. providing Ukraine with 180 tons of ammunition, the White House and some top lawmakers are hoping for a peaceful resolution. The best thing that can happen is for us to pass the sanctions package, pre-invasion with a waiver, post-invasion sanctions that would destroy the ruble and uh, cripple the Russian economy so Putin could see it in writing. That might help him decide not to invade. Some analysts say Putin could punish himself if he goes ahead with military action. It might strengthen ties uh, between Ukraine and the European Union. It also cre has created a stronger sense of Ukrainian national identity. And it's hard for me to see how that helps either Mr. Putin or Russia. I'm John Lawrence reporting. The Ukrainian foreign minister says Russia has not provided an explanation for its actions on the border. New tonight out of Afghanistan, at least one American and six British citizens are being held by the Taliban. None of the men have been reportedly charged. The detentions come less than six months after the U.S. pulled all of its troops out of the country. A spokesperson for the U.S. National Security Council says this is unacceptable. We're following developments tonight out of Racine. Five people were shot this morning in what officers are calling a domestic-related incident. This all started downtown in Racine at about 2 a.m. Police say officers found an armed man who shot and killed himself when officers confronted him. Police say they tried to negotiate with this man before he shot himself. His name's not been released yet. As for the victims, three people were taken to a hospital in Racine. Two other people took themselves in hospitals in different cities. All five people are expected to be okay. Next tonight at 10, a former Rock County Sheriff's deputy accused of child sexual assault will be back in court tomorrow. An arraignment is scheduled for Gary Huber at 1 o'clock. Huber posted a $25,000 cash bond last month. The 34-year-old faces 10 felony charges, including first-degree child sexual assault. According to a criminal complaint, Huber allegedly assaulted multiple children before he was hired as a Rock County deputy. Also tomorrow, we're expecting to hear from Dane County Sheriff Calvin Barrett. He's scheduled to hold a news conference to talk about the jail consolidation project. The County Board of Supervisors rejected a lower cost plan for the project last Monday. The project would replace the outdated cell blocks in the City County Jail and replace the Ferris Huber Center. And we're going to have all the coverage from the Sheriff's Conference on our Channel 3000 News app. It's free and available in the App Store. New Mexico U.S. Senator Ben Ray Lujan says that he will be back in the Senate to help make key decisions coming soon. This comes after the 48-year-old suffered a stroke late last month. Then I'll be back on the floor of the United States Senate in just a few short weeks to vote on important legislation and to consider a Supreme Court nominee. Senator Lujan was joined by his doctors on his Twitter account with a video saying he's recovering and going through rehab. Lujan's doctors say his case is a reminder for everyone to stay aware of the signs and symptoms of a stroke. Rudy Giuliani is expected to cooperate with the House Committee investigating what happened on January 6th. The New York Times is reporting that Giuliani's lawyer is signaling that he plans to take a less confrontational stance to their investigation. In the past, Giuliani was an attorney for former President Trump. 
And continuing our coverage out of Canada today, police are arresting protesters blocking a busy bridge connecting the U.S. and Canada near Detroit. Truckers and other supporters blocking this bridge are protesting Canada's COVID-19 vaccine mandates. For more than a week now, these protesters have stopped traffic and crippled a key trade route for both Canada and the U.S. Breaking news tonight, the filmmaker and producer behind the beloved comedies Animal House and Ghostbusters has died. Yvonne Reitman's family says that he died last night in his California home. Reitman was 75 years old. And in more local news tonight, a man killed in a car crash on Friday in Janesville has been identified as a former auto racing champion. The Badger Midget Auto Racing Association says that Kevin Olson was a five-time champion. A legend of the sport, Olson won two national championships and five Pepsi nationals. Olson's family says a partner who was in the car with him at the time is still in the hospital. In a statement, the Racing Association said that Olsen was known for his silly antics, his quick wit, and his eccentric humor. They said that few drivers accomplished as much as Olsen, and few received the cheers he did as well. Olsen was 70 years old. We're going to be right back. It's the President's Day Super Sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend. Or check out the Summit Firm for only $249.99. Plus, seven years no interest financing and free shipping. The President's Day Super Sale, only at Denver Mattress. News 3 Now is always on. Get the Channel 3000 app, activate the push alerts, and we will send you breaking news, traffic, and weather alerts as it happens. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. Water is one of nature's most beautiful and life-sustaining resources. At no fault of their own, many Wisconsin utility customers are facing a shutoff to their water service. This leaves them without the one life-giving resource we all take for granted. And those hardest hit are on fixed incomes, juggling multiple temporary jobs, or those who lost full-time jobs in sectors hardest hit by the pandemic. If someone you care about needs a hand up, your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your water, heat, and power on. If you are in danger of losing your water service, call 833-H2O-WISC, 833-426-9472. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Dear Jack Frost, people say you've got ice in your veins, but underneath it all, you're just a big old softie. Go ahead, try to nip at our toes. Thanks to our available remote connect, we'll be toasty and warm and ready to go. Warm wishes, Toyota cars. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, a two-year or 25,000-mile maintenance plan and roadside assistance. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison 2022. Nominate your favorites online, including Two Men in a Truck, Movers Who Care, Best Moving Company. Nominate Two Men in a Truck today at madisonmagazine.com. It's the President's Day Super Sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend. Or check out the Summit Firm for only $249.99. Plus, seven years no interest financing and free shipping. The President's Day Super Sale, only at Denver Mattress. Monday morning, we're celebrating Valentine's Day with a visit to a local florist in full-on holiday mode. And our question of the day is back with a prize you won't want to miss. We're also watching the weather pattern for the middle of this week. That's Monday morning from 4.30 to 7. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. All the wheels were spinning today at Madison's Free Will Bicycle Cooperative for their first volunteer day of 2022, offering a solution to help a growing need for affordable transportation. The nonprofit organization has served the Madison area for more than 15 years and plays a critical role in providing affordable bikes to the community. Centering itself on a mission towards transportation justice, Free Will hopes to increase access to bikes in the Madison area through an education-based service. So you can pay zero dollars, you can pay, uh, you know, a million dollars, and anywhere in between. You know, we don't turn anybody away. The, uh, yeah, the point is that you can come in here and, and be empowered with that knowledge to fix your own bike, regardless of, of your monetary situation. 
Bike volunteer days take place every single Sunday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Next tonight, while you can't put a price on love, you can still wonder what everyone else is planning to spend this Valentine's Day. According to the National Retail Federation, it's about $175 per person. Survey also finds the most common gifts this year, are, of course, are candy, cards, flowers, and jewelry. But many people here in Madison will be enjoying some cookies as well. Christina Laurie introduces us to a woman who made a pandemic pivot and how it's paying off in a big way. It's a nice day to be out picking up cookies. <laughs> Valentine's Day may yeah, be just the Hallmark holiday. Awesome. Oh, yeah. I know you. Yeah, I met you at the night market. But for many, the pandemic's put things in perspective. It spreads joy and makes people happy. And people are no longer passing up any chance to celebrate. I get to make little things that people bring to their celebrations and their special events. Vicki Gens is proud to be a piece of that. Oh, it, it's super fun. It's so rewarding. I always say I have the best job in the world. Her business, Vicki Cookies, took off during the pandemic when people were looking for special, safe ways to show others they care. Vicki bakes and decorates beautiful cookies that really do taste as good as they look. When you first start, it takes a lot of practice to get things right. Vicki frosted her first cookie 15 years ago and started her business as a part-time hobby a decade later. Then, right before the pandemic, Vicki took a leap left her job and started baking full time. That's just such a good feeling. This Valentine's Day is Vicky's busiest yet, selling 3,000 cookies. To know that something that I created is making someone smile and making someone's day a little brighter. Spreading love and sharing her gift. In Fitchburg. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, you too. Christina Laurie, News 3 Now. And if you're still looking for a way to celebrate Valentine's Day, our partners at Madison Magazine have a list of 16 dinner and dessert deals at local businesses. You can find more on our website, channel3000.com. Well, Scandinavian culture was on full display this weekend in Mount Horeb. The city's annual Scandahuvian Festival wrapped up today with a pancake brunch and a silent auction. This year's festival included winter activities and shopping opportunities. Organizers say that after two years of the pandemic, it's nice to have everyone back together. We have so many great events throughout the year here in Mount Horeb, but we need to do something in winter. And we knew that it would be more focused on a lo local events because you never know with the lovely weather in, uh, in Wisconsin what to expect. This weekend's festival also included turkey bowling, broom ball, and the annual spelling bee. Austin, how'd you do in your spelling bee growing up? Oh, uh, I was actually decent, but I wasn't going to win any awards with my uh, with my spelling bee <laughs> skills there. But, you know, I definitely spent a lot more time actually focusing on weather stuff. I was one of those kids that watched the Weather Channel growing up, and here I am now today talking about the mostly cloudy skies and chance for some light snow showers for tonight. That is going to be a possibility, a chance to see even a dusting or so by the time we reach tomorrow morning. So if you see snow on the roads, take it slow. It could be slow in spots. Monday through Wednesday, we're going to see the mild temperatures returning. We got 20s for Monday, 30s for Tuesday, and how about some 40s returning on Wednesday? But we're still watching out for mainly rain, but still a bit of a mix here towards the middle of the week. Afterwards, it's going to stay decently mild. The 30s do look to stick around after a quick cool down following that midweek mess. Now our Doppler track still showing that light snowfall trying to squeak its way through here in southern Wisconsin. Not going to see too much from this for tonight, but still a few flurries. Lighter snow showers still on the table. A dusting or a few tenths of an inch is a possibility by early tomorrow morning. Future track shows temperatures falling down to the middle single digits, but eventually warming to the mid 20s by tomorrow afternoon. And then for Tuesday, It'll be a little bit warmer as we see the 30s returning. Some afternoon sunshine also is going to return and 40s on the table here for Wednesday. But on Wednesday also, we are watching out for the chance for rain showers eventually switching over to snow. Now I'm going to show you the same two models that I ended up showing you last night and one of them has since moved back up to the north just a little bit. So this is our GFS model. This is the one and only model that still brings some snowfall here even through parts of Thursday. 
Thursday afternoon. If this held, we'd see some snowfall here locally, but another model, and this is more in line with pretty much every other model that we're looking at as of right now, still brings that rainfall switching over to snow a little bit quicker, but really shifting this down to the southeast and exiting our area here on Wednesday night. So this would keep Thursday dry and even bring some afternoon sunshine on Thursday. So I do think this is our most likely scenario that we're looking at right now for Thursday. Still a chance to see that morning snowfall, however, especially if we see all these other models start to jump back up to the north. But right now, not looking too likely. But we're going to see these temperatures again cranking up over the next few days. After that Wednesday mess does move through, we're going to cool back down to even those upper teens for just one day. And then we're going to see those warmer temperatures returning the 20s and eventually mid and upper 30s. And the extended forecast does show that morning uh, snow chance here for Thursday. But again, that chance dwindling at the moment right now. We still have that one model that supports it, but that's only one model that we're looking at. Hey, Valentine's Day, mid 20s, some sunshine. It should be a pretty good day here for tomorrow. Most of the cloud cover that we'll see tomorrow will be in those morning hours. But in the afternoon, some sun looks to poke right back out. If it makes you feel any better during the spelling bee, I just always knew, <laughs> all right, I'm going to mess up the board right away because I know I have no chance in this thing. Oh. That was like the first round, second round. I got a nice view of the uh, spelling bee back in the day. I got yeah. to watch from the cheap sheets. So. Hey, there you go. And I mean, some of those spelling bees, especially the ones that are on ESPN nowadays, oh. they're so they're actually really, really fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. it truly <laughs> is a sport. Like, it actually is. Could never yeah. do it. <laughs> right, me either. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're here, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, Austin. <laughs> the Badger women made some history this afternoon on the hardwood. Highlights from their showdown with Purdue coming up next in sports. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. It's Make My Mondays at Hy-Vee. This Monday, get butter for just 99 cents. That's right, get Hy-Vee butter for just 99 cents. Monday only. Scan the QR code or check out hyveedeals.com for more deals. Here's the newest spin on Wisconsin Lottery Scratch Games. It's X times the money. A new family of games with prices from $1 to $20. The bigger the ticket, the bigger the multiplier and top prize. All the way up to $200,000. Instant scratch games from the Wisconsin Lottery. Odds are you'll like them. I'm a little old to count down the days, but my ski trip to Cascade Mountain with my cousin each year, so much fun. We used to pretend like we were flying. Now, we really do. My dad and my uncle like that we still ski free. But Noah and I, we just have fun. See you there. Supply chain backlogs, inflation, agitation. Here's an idea. If we make things here in America, supply chain issues won't be a thing anymore. That's exactly how we built the Bucks Arena. By having 80% of the materials come from Wisconsin. We did the same by paying higher wages. That's how you know as your senator, I'll get things done. Raising people's wages, make things in America, finally stand up to China. I'm Alex Lazary, and I approve this message because it's time to put more money in the pockets of working people. Prepare to feel good in 2022. Join Planet Fitness by February 16th and enjoy tons of equipment in our clean and spacious clubs for zero enrollment. Zero enrollment? And 10 bucks a month. That's $10 a month? Cancel any time. That makes me so happy. You know what else will make you happy? Blowing off steam in our judgment-free zone. Woo! It's all about the endorphins, baby. What's up? It's this place, I tell you. See man, baby. Join now and feel spectacular for zero enrollment, $10 a month. Cancel any time. Deal ends Wednesday, February 16th. This is the purpose-built Ford F-150. It's a beast with brains. It, you know what? Skip this video. Go see one at the auto show. It's auto show time. The best time to buy a Ford F-150 with ways to power up this and that. Work smarter. Muscle for most anything. Plus, special auto show offers to help you bring one home today. Order your F-150 during Auto Show to lock in this special flex-buy offer. Plus, get an extra 1,000 retail order bonus. 
It's Make My Mondays at Hy-Vee. This Monday, get butter for just 99 cents. That's right, get Hy-Vee butter for just 99 cents. Monday only. Scan the QR code or check out hyveedeals.com for more deals. Since November, the Wisconsin men's basketball team lost to an unranked opponent. After being upset by Rutgers yesterday, the Badgers are no longer tied atop the Big Ten standings, now sitting in third behind Illinois and Purdue. Anyone watching Saturday's game could say that didn't look like the Wisconsin team that's been playing lights out pretty much the whole season. The Badgers shot 47% from the floor, hit only four of 19 three-pointers, struggled from the free throw line, and recorded 11 turnovers. I saw a lot of balls get knocked loose or us lose possession of us not playing off two feet, you know, playing on one, not having balance, up in the air making decisions, those type of things that that's not, uh, you know, not us. We turned it over, I think, three times um, down the stretch when I think we even had a lead and we turned it over. Um, but I thought really the tone of the game was set early. Another quick turnaround for the Badgers. They'll face Indiana on Tuesday night. Wisconsin open conference play against the Hoosiers. And it's hard to forget that one. Badgers came back with an insane come from behind win. The tip off around two is set for eight. Said it before, I'll say it again. The Badger women's basketball team knows how to show up on Sundays, hosting Purdue this afternoon. Julie Poshpishlova, unstoppable. Final minute, she cashes in with a triple to put the Badgers ahead. And just as the Boilermakers edge UW, Christina Elu hits the three to put this game away. The Badgers complete the largest comeback in program history, winning 54 to 52. The Bucks will be without Pat Connaughton for a bit. ESPN reports that he's undergoing surgery on his right hand on Monday to help fix a fracture, but he's expected to be back before the end of the regular season. The injury came Thursday night when the Bucks played the Suns. The Rodgers watch continues as the four-time MVP prepares to make a decision on his future, whether he stays in green and gold or leaves, while well, the Packers are ready to go all in. Adam Schefter says the Pack are prepared to spend as close to the cap this year, possibly spreading it into future years as much as possible in order to keep number 12. When Green Bay's season came to an end just a few weeks ago, Rodgers expressed he didn't want to keep people waiting and would figure out what his next move was before free agency begins. Yeah, that's going to be really interesting. Now we head into the offseason. I don't know. What's your take? Rodgers staying or going? Honestly, I, I, think, I think he'll stay. I think a lot of it is, too, is like, I mean, Aaron Jones even said it the other night, you know, he was kind of pleading for Rodgers to stay. And, I mean, I think they're also going to wait to see what happens with Devontae, too. But I, I, I feel like he would stay, you know, have, have yeah. another run. So I know that everyone was saying last year, you know, you know the, the last dance, they were all posting those cryptic pictures. Yeah. But I feel like he's, he's got another one. Yeah, a different tone this offseason. Yeah, what about you? I don't know. I'm up in the air. Every day it squitches. I know. I feel like every day it's, it's all around. <laughs> I'll so. tell you in the morning, right? <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> you know, it'll change. <laughs> Thanks so much, Jordan. We're going to be right back. Work with purpose. Join the VARC team of industry-leading support professionals and help kids and adults with disabilities reach their full potential. VARC offers a competitive benefits package and has opportunities in multiple locations. Visit our website for more information. Celebrate a better night's sleep and save during the President's Day Super Sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend and watch the savings add up. Or save up to $500 on select Tempur-Pedic mattress sets and get a $300 gift. Save up to $200 on our Doctor's Choice lineup. Or check out the Summit Firm for only $249.99. Plus, seven years no just financing and free shipping. The President's Day Super Sale, on now at Denver Mattress. You're a hard worker. Provide for your family. Do good things in the community. Help out your neighbors. You've been there for so many others. Now, we're here for you. Your local Wisconsin energy and emergency assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. I was a Navy submariner for over 20 years. I spent a large portion of my life underwater. Service is about putting your country before yourself. But Senator Ron Johnson uses his office to serve himself. Ron Johnson passed a special tax break that benefited his family's business, then cashed out of the company for $5 million. Ron Johnson has doubled his wealth since he's been elected. That's not what service is about. 
Tell Ron Johnson to stop voting for tax laws that benefit himself. Scoping Cars is having a huge winter sale with the largest selection of vehicles under $15,995 or $249 per month. That's right, don't miss out on our winter sale with the best selection of SUVs, cars, or vans under $15,995 or $249 per month. We have one of the largest selections of vehicles in Dane County with over 500 vehicles in stock. So just come on in and ask for me, Crystal the Pistol, Govin. Go to Govin Cars East or West. You gotta go to Govin. GovinCars.com Needed Relief Day Spa and Wellness is a place where you can relax, be pampered, and revitalize your life in a safe and tranquil environment. Our guest's safety and comfort is our top priority. Revitalize yourself at Needed Relief today and give the gift of wellness to those you love with a Needed Relief gift card, available now online. It's exactly what we all need. Needed Relief Day Spa and Wellness, Madison's world-class wellness spa. Work with purpose. Join the VARC team of industry-leading support professionals and help kids and adults with disabilities reach their full potential. VARC offers a competitive benefits package and has opportunities in multiple locations. Visit our website for more information. Why Madison is growing up but not out. Monday at 6. The Bengals and Rams weren't the only two teams playing tonight. Fans gathered at Beer Rock today to catch the annual 18th annual Puppy Bowl. The event started with a pregame tailgate and featured drink specials like the Chocolate Lab Porter and cocktails such as the Greyhound and Salty Dog. 10% of the sales from this evening's benefit go to the Dane County Humane Society. And the owners say that the event gives people something to watch, and it sure really does. And finally, tonight, you want to talk about something to watch. Did you see this halftime show? Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Mary Jay Blige, Kendrick Lamar, and Eminem highlighted tonight's show. Jordan, I gotta, I gotta say, what did you think of that show? Oh, I thought it was awesome. I thought it was great. I mean, a bunch of us were all gathered around listening to it and dancing. So yeah, yeah I mean, it was like, it was, it was awesome. I enjoyed it. What about you? I was gonna say, yeah, we had, a, we had our own like halftime like <laughs> we had a jam out session. Yeah. And I know there was one man, Austin Kovnitsky, who was jamming at home, right? <laughs> I really was. Yeah, most definitely. I, I was cranking the speakers. I do have to apologize once more for. <laughs> everyone that was around me in my apartment because it was loud in the apartment. But right now what we're looking at here for tonight, we're going to see mostly cloudy skies. We're going to see a few flurries and some snow showers that could end up leading to a dusting in spots here and there. And that could lead to a few slick spots early on Monday morning. Afterwards, we start to warm things right back up. All right, Austin, thank you so much. And thanks so much for joining us. Good night, everyone.